You know, we just, you know, chill out. Cooking up these verbs, adjectives, nouns. Well, metaphors. Um, we had a, you know, of course, interview before the Free Your Mind section, um, which covers everything books, poetry, so that's how you guys come in. But my question is when I first saw you, you were by yourself. The second time I saw you, you were together. And both, both instances were at B3, and it was at OT Ball. So my thing, you know, my question is, y'all have this thing going on right in for my life. Um, you went on hiatus, like, and during that time, you had a, you developed a testimony. I'm sure you already had a prior, but you definitely developed one. So my question is, how did the whole leaving Baltimore, coming back to Baltimore, and the whole writing my writing for my life thing get started. And I don't know if you both can you know, answer that, but I'm just curious how they got started. Because you are in the county? I'm not in that. Yeah, so, you know, how did this whole, let's get the hell out of 410 happen? I mean, but writing for my life was established while we were still there. Before, okay. Before either of us left, it was a concept that we got up. Archie and I was teaching a class over in the West, West, uh, West Baltimore mm -hmm. at a, uh, <clears throat> at Harlem Park and we, uh, you know, it was, it was Archie's class and I would come in and we would teach the kids and they were so receptive to, to spoken word. They were like phenomenally talented and uh, I think that really inspired both of us to uh, come up with the theory. And, uh, it was a loose theory of writing for my life and what it was, what it was going to be and I think it, it began to shape and form and crystallize as Archie went his way and on the mountain. Okay. Yeah, the program started in, uh, in in the Harlem Park complex at, at BTD, um, shout out to Baltimore Dallas really yeah. High School. Um, we, we first started with actually including students from the school in the productions we put on. In this very building, we did uh, two promotions called Poetry and Motion, Poetry and Motion, Poetry and Motion One and Two, and both of them featured students or a student from um, Baltimore County at the high school. So, it, it, it's, it branches out into a, a scholarship and a new, more so a writing workshop for students and things like that. But he said poetry and motion. Poetry and motion, yeah, that had to write anything we put there. So but as we write it for my life, as we launch, as we do it, we're going uh, to bring in the entire writing work. That's, that's, we're trying to get everybody in from spoken word, people who write true lets and sonnets, and, and just get everybody a community to to express themselves. With the focus on, on the youth and, and the students, but we're trying to get everybody on yeah. Correction. I ain't going on no hiatus. I never went on no Oh, excuse me. I never went on no hiatus. No, no, because that's what it is. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Is people get confused. You know what I'm saying? When a person decides that he's going to take his art to another place, it's no hiatus. I, when, as soon as I went to Atlanta, I started working and spreading writing for my life in Atlanta. And I know he went to LA. That's all he did was try to promote because you got to start all over from a place where you've been for six years. Yeah, and people know you to nobody knows you. You have to keep working. You got to work. So it's no hiatus. Don't sleep on me. I'm telling you. <laughs> no hiatus. That's the truth. That true indeed. Right? Yeah. So as you said, um, we're here at the Blake Center. We just finished up with our story, storytelling event and you guys were our future. So just like, what did you think of the video? In general, how do you think your performance went over with the audience? Some feedback on that. I think the, the, the venue is awesome because, uh, you know, you have to, you kind of have to prep your crowd as as to what they're going to get. You know, everybody comes in and they're expecting to get some kind of thing. You know, storytellers, they're expecting that and their energy is then, uh, you know, transpires through that. So when we got here, we got up, people were really expecting the stories and, and, and so forth. So I, I feel like we gave them. Yeah. No rules, we didn't get no tomatoes this time. Not Usually this time. we up there ducking carrots. Exactly. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. Um, but I definitely appreciate y'all coming through. Um, and I know that uh, together, y'all just got it's just crazy. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, crazy. Um, um, you got this one piece that starts off with that uh, Jaguar joint. It's like a love piece, oh, yeah. And I blast. I had that on heavy rotation on That's my MySpace like page. Like I've never learned that before. Really? Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I did it once off the, the paper and recorded it. And never. Yeah, yeah. And and then of course you got all the your pieces, especially 
Um, I remember the one piece you did back at Be Free. It was Be Free when you were the feature at Be Free um, recently. And, um, you know, you basically what happened, and this is when I really started to capture the, the writing for my life, because I actually purchased the CD of that one, is um, you had received some news, you know, I think it was about a relative and how you couldn't be there, you know, and based, that kind of like set your whole, how you just poured yourself out throughout that whole night, you know, and so the whole, I, I can, that's why I was like, you know, where did this writing for my life come from? Because it's evident on both of you, you know, and, and how serious is, you know, with you and Cali, and then um, I saw your performances as well, like, you know, I think you said you were in Ohio at one point. Yeah, Cincinnati. Yeah, so, you know, it was just. Shout out to Cincinnati. Shout out to Nazi. Shout out to Shot Town, baby. You are a no price of my life. Shot Town, we come and we come and see you in the West. You already know. But, um, now let me ask you this. Did you also start at Morgan? Or yeah, but basically, I started at Morgan. I came to Morgan a year before he did, yeah, and I was uh, definitely the dude. I was, <laughs> I was that dude on the campus, and then the following year, this guy came around. I'm hearing the whispers. The girls is like, "Oh, you ain't the dude." <laughs> so I had to meet him. <laughs> we do. We had a we had a glove duel. I smacked him up a couple of times. Smack him up in the submission. We was like, "Fine, let's just put it together." Put it together. <laughs> Don't be on campus warring, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's really how it worked, though. That's really yeah. how it worked. The, cra the crazy part is, as far as the storyteller is concerned, we were both writing from a perspective that we didn't even understand. You know what I'm saying? And we grew, as, as meeting each other, we grew to know why we were writing about these mm -hmm. pieces. Because our pieces match like mm -hmm. Voltron, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And it, without effort. Right. You know, so a lot of the things that people thought that we put a lot of rehearsal into mm -hmm. was just us doing improv and just being cool with each other, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, he's, we're not best friends, you know what I'm saying? I don't even like them all like that. But <laughs> no, but we, we still we still can match as far as the poetry you can we learn from each other. Oh, well. I understand. I was, I was actually glad because, well, number one, let me just say that storytellers is not always about, um, you know, I know we say it's to inform people of you know, different books that you read and things like that. But my personal experience with storytellers is really just about, you know, Definitely what you guys did today. And as far as the, um, the, the chemistry, it's so funny because um, the poetry room that I used to be a part of, we dismantled, but I actually had two of my members here, and you know, we just were reminiscing because we used to have that same playoff with each other, you know, to each piece, you know. But, um, do you have anything else you want to add? Because she did like walk away. <laughs> she I, was was I, was, I was choking. I had to. Oh, my bad. I was a little. Oh, excuse me. I had to get a hold of my piece. I need some church paint. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is uh, Quilmore Smith, uh, hey, photographer, former journalist, and luminous, editor at large, with Archie the Messenger and Lyrical the Lyricist, representing for EscapeTheMatrix.com. So, without further ado, my life. Peace, y'all.